Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the TV series Daniel Boone. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Daniel Boone is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So without further ado, let's dive into the world of Daniel Boone. Matt Flory was born in 1926 in the series to play Pinkin. In 1965, when he was in the series, he was 39 and sadly passed away on March 12, 2014 at the age of 87. Beaver? It's just plain old winter trappings. We got bail on bail of it. Of, um, plain old winter trappings. Back, and then, you know, just on the road for the next 40 years or so, you know, but it's great. I love this town and I can't believe Veronica Cartwright was born in 1949 in the series she played Jamima Boone. In 1964, when she was in the series, she was 15 and now she's 74. That's called it bristles off a hog with water colder than that. I'm just doing as I was told to do. I can have a bit more water. Well, don't bother on my account. That's exactly what my... There aren't many actors that are that tall. So poor Fess would always have to be in a hole while the other actors were on um, box. Albert Salmi was born in 1928 in the series to play Yatkin. In 1964, when he was in the series, he was 36 and sadly passed away on April 22nd, 1990 at 62. I have to get a hundred pounds for both of them. Now, if you would run up the bid and say a hundred pounds, Well, uh, I don't know. I, I do it and a week later I forget it because I go on to something else and, you know, it that takes an all. Fess Parker was born in 1924 in the series to play Daniel Boone. In 1964, when he was in the series, he was 40 years old and sadly passed away on March 18, 2010 at the age of 85. Take the mountain trail. The mountain trail and this? If the British come looking for us, they won't look there. They'd think we'd be crazy to go that way, and they'd be right. The genius behind the operation, uh, Roy Disney Sr., and the chief legal counsel, whose name was Gunther Lett. Kurt Russell was born in 1951 in the series to play Chad. In 1965, when he was in the series, he was 14, and now he's 73. Would you care to tell me how it happened? What's there to tell? Well, I saw the Indians coming. And he, and he just said, he looked at me, he couldn't even really look at me. He said, uh, nobody ever really got me a present before for my birthday. Oh, wow. And I realized. Jimmy Dean was born in 1928 in the series to play Josh Clemens. In 1967, when he was in the series, he was 39 and sadly passed away on June 13, 2010 at the age of 81. It, it must be something that you already have. You understand, it's the custom. <laughs> I understand, but I, I don't think I got a thing in the world you'd want. Laugh, but I, I just but thought I'd know. lay it out. Everything has been so cultural thus far. You know, I just thought I'd throw a little old country fried manure on everything. And I... Dalma Cannon was born in 1919 in the series to play Cincinnatus. In 1964, when he was in the series, he was 45 and sadly passed away on July 14, 2009, at the age of 89. That tastes like you wrung out some moccasins in it. <laughs> it's coffee uh, with my own recipe for a whiskey egg and head. Uh. Loves Gumby too. So I wanted to be a part of it. And I'm so thankful I had an opportunity to share all these years. Roosevelt Greer was born in 1932 in the series to play Gabe Cooper. In 1969, when he was in the series, he was 37 years old, and now he's 91. You depend on us. Well, sure, I mean, Gabe and me work together like the well-oiled gears of one of them fancy European clocks. L like peas and greens? Don't worry. But she was sick, so we were going to take her back to the free land. And it's on the way back, of course, she got very, very... Darby Hinton was born in 1957 in the series to play Israel Boone. 
In 1964, when he was in the series, he was seven, and now he's 66. Just like real sweet honey. <laughs> <laughs> he was saying, if a man doesn't eat, he could go out of his mind. Funny, and that's why they kicked her off the show. And she goes, no, Darby, it's because I had um, a little love romance scene on one of the episodes. And Ed Ames was born in 1927 in the series The Plays Mingo. In 1964, when he was in the series, he was 37 years old and sadly passed away on May 21st, 2023, at the age of 95. You know, Daniel, for the first time, I'm beginning to believe that we're going to get our furs back. Well, I wouldn't know what else to say to Rebecca otherwise. <laughs> ...of Virginia, played by Walter Pidgeon, the great, wonderful actor. Uh, he played my, my father. He was the governor, the, so I was a sort of a... Robert Logan was born in 1941 in the series he played Jerry Joe Jones. In 1965, when he was in the series, he was 24, and now he's 82. Bad one? I ain't a rich man. Do a resentment of well? I may be living out in the wilderness, but I ain't... Chuck Robertson was born in 1919, in the series he plays Dutch. In 1964, when he was in the series, he was 45, and sadly passed away on June 8th, 1988, at the age of 69. Get some more men and meet me at the horses. Come on! Patricia Blair was born in 1933. In the series, she played Rebecca Boone. In 1964, when she was in the series, she was 31, and sadly she passed away on September 9, 2013, at the age of 80. I couldn't help it over here. Dan? What are you gonna do? When we reflect on the incredible journey of Daniel Boone that took place between 1964 and 1970, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.